Waging war on corruption, crashing to the lies and disinformation. Monday through Friday, 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for joining us today. For the rest of the hour, Wayne Madsen is with us. He, of course, has written for some of the biggest publications in the country. He is a author, researcher, worked with the National Security Agency and other uh, secretive uh, federal bodies uh, in national security. And he's been breaking important news after important news up there on Capitol Hill and at the press club every day. But I wanted to get him on about Bankster Gate. I don't want to just have it be Timmy Gate, Geithner Gate. It's much bigger than just him and how the White House has been caught now clearly lying, saying Geithner wasn't involved in any of this when he headed the New York Fed that set the policy and gave the orders and now the Treasury marking these toxic uh, derivatives at 100 percent being paid directly to him and others. I also want to get into a bunch of other big news uh, that uh, Wayne Madsen has been working on. Also, what's going on with Obama trying to block his records, uh, gag orders going on, uh, the way they compromise congressmen, uh, and other big stories he's working on. He's always breaking important news that weeks, months, and years later comes out in the mainstream. Wayne Madsen of WayneMadsenReport.com, thanks for joining us. Again, good to have you here with us, Wayne. Uh, let's get into uh, Bankstergate first. Well, now we have uh, several bankers talking about uh, giving themselves big bonuses. Uh, Lloyd Blankfein from Goldman Sachs may get the biggest bonus uh, among many of the others of these uh, bailout banks. And uh, people are just uh, outraged by it all. And now we're hearing that the next target may be our 401ks and our IRAs, they may, uh, the government may want to roll those over into annuities, which is an, yet another cash grab at uh, money that is, belongs to individual people. And in the uh, banking overhaul that gave them more power of a month ago, they state that your money markets or your basic savings funds, they may seize those. Those aren't insured. And, yes, they're going to start taking a percentage of and grabbing your 401Ks. I mean, they are just getting started in the stealing. Well, and I wonder, what you know, where, are the, where is the American people? Where are they going to draw the line? I mean, it's uh, this is like... Uh... Uh, a constantly moving goalpost. Uh, where is the goalpost of uh, absolute outrage where there's no going back? And I don't know what it's going to take to wake people up, but uh, perhaps maybe if they see their money disappear, maybe that'll do it. But, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not holding out any hopes because we, we don't see the media covering all of this. Uh, of course, this thing about the 401ks and the uh, uh, the IRAs, uh, I, I got that information from somebody who has very good contacts in the Treasury Department, but it's absolutely on the table. And uh, now we see people like former Illinois Governor Blagojevich and former Alabama Governor Siegelman uh, uh, complaining about uh, Obama basically being a, in the hip pockets of the corporations that uh, he's he's really a fake and a phony and a fraud. Uh, we see um, a former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer uh, saying that this uh, woman, the Democrats, are running for re-election election as senator. Kirsten Gillibrand is is really not. Uh, she doesn't have the medal uh, to serve in the Senate. Uh, I think he basically Spitzer knows about the ripoff. I I think that's why they took him down. And I, I think uh, basically any politician, any elected official who's talking about uh, uh, what Obama and Rahm Emanuel and Bernanke and the rest of these crooks are doing, uh, their phone calls are being intercepted on a daily basis, and, 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 and these uh, phone calls are being turned over to uh, willing prosecutors because they, look, they, they can piece together any phone call, including ours right now, and charge us with some sort of a crime. Well, going back specifically to Banksergate with Geithner, I mean, he's always told Congress, as the head of the New York Fed setting policy for the entire system, and then as Treasury Secretary, that he won't tell people where the money went. And that's been the policy of uh, the former uh, Treasury Secretary, the former Fed chief, the current Fed chief. They're all on record. I played clips a few hours ago of him saying, I won't tell you where the money is. To now have Geithner say, okay, you got emails from the New York Federal Reserve telling AIG to not say where billions of dollars of money was going to Goldman Sachs' bonuses, 
uh, and ordering them to lie and keep it off the forms. Now he's saying he wasn't involved in that decision. I mean, we clearly have him in congressional perjury now. We clearly have the White House lying. This is bipartisan. Uh, they own both parties. I mean, where does it go? Well, I think, uh, you know, what, 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 what are we seeing from the Congress as far as, as uh, oversight? We're seeing very, very little. I, I think many members, uh, we have a lot of members now deciding not to run for uh, re-election. My sources are telling me people like Byron Dorgan, who basically complained about the shipment of U.S. jobs overseas. He wrote a book called Take This Job and Ship It. Uh, and, and, and he said in 99, don't get rid of Glass-Steagall. Right, and uh, now he's set up. Uh, he's been he's been pressured by the Rahm Emanuels, uh, uh, and I think he's just throwing his hands up and saying, "Look, folks, it's, it's this this is too much." Chris Dodd, of course, is in over his head with a lot of this, and he knows it, and and he knows that he he won't be. And relaxed. remember last year how the White House said they knew nothing about bonuses when they pressured to have Dodd write the bill where they could retroactively still get bonuses and were exempt from the new regulations on CEO and executive bonuses, and then Dodd released the email where the White House told him to do it? Absolutely, and I think that's another reason I, uh, that, that Dodd is leaving the Senate as well. He he got he got used by these people, and uh, he knows that his career is basically over with. Now we hate to see the hullabaloo about Harry Reid uh, saying that, uh, you know, Obama is some sort of a uh, really, you know, he's, he's the kind of guy that can be all things to all people. I think he's basically saying the same thing Blagojevich is saying, the same thing uh, 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 former Governor Siegelman is saying. The guy's a phony. I mean, he's not a progressive. He's, he was he, he was elected on uh, basically this late. Uh, he got most of his money from Goldman Sachs and and, and, and the other bank, uh, Wall Street bankers. I, I have to say McCain did, too. I mean, both parties are run by the same the same conglomerate. And so what do we do? I mean, clearly Obama's out in three years, uh, but then the Republicans are just as deep into all of this. The public's starting to figure out that this is a bipartisan heist uh, going on, and I guess they're just going to rely on surveillance, riot police, and NORTHCOM. Well, I think what we, I, again, I think what, what we're going to see in 2012 is, is uh, one of those rare opportunities where a true independent candidate for president with a good got to have an he or she has to have an immense campaign uh staff of volunteers uh and uh it could it could happen it happened almost in 1992 with Perot. if it was going to be ron paul he'd have to declare now and start building the grassroots base but some people say that uh he's too old i mean who else is there out there well, I think certainly Jesse Ventura is getting a lot of exposure. Yeah. I've now. talked to him privately. He 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 is he is not going to run. Well, you know, we always heard that from other candidates too. And uh, you know, remember Perot, Perot used to say the same thing on Larry King's show, and he, he said, "But if Larry, if the people you know want me to run and call this eight hundred number, <laughs> and he got enough money, of course, he decided to get in." Uh, the, 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 you know, politicians, of course, like to say that they don't want to show their cards. It's really like a game of poker. Uh, but uh, sooner, sooner than uh, later, uh, people who may have the intention of running as an independent are going to have to start putting together uh, a campaign. Well, we'll see what happens on that front. Uh, what do you think about Congressman Issa? He obviously doesn't have any skeletons in his closet going after the Fed, or they would have already trotted them out. Grayson's got a lot of courage. Paul's got a lot of courage. Uh, Senator uh, of the uh, Independent uh, from Connecticut has got a lot of courage. Uh, we see some others with courage. Uh, I mean, this is th this is the elephant in the room, though. How long can this go on? I mean, I have reports here where Goldman Sachs is arming themselves with weapons against the public and buying homes offshore. They clearly know what they've done. I mean, how? Uh, what's the inside scoop in D.C. you're getting on how far this is going to go? Well, I, I, mean, I think you meant to say the independent uh, Bernie uh, Sanders from Vermont. The independent Vermont, from excuse me, yeah. of course, is the horrible and, and despicable Joe Lieberman. And, and yeah, I, I meant Connecticut. I, I meant I, I, Bernie I, Sanders. I, I know, I know, I know. You did. And, 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 you know, people like Lieberman. Let's face it. I mean, these are the types of people that are irritating the constituents out there. Um, but I, I think where where this is going, uh, this this is an election year. We're seeing a lot of incumbents. Bailing out, uh, we're, we're going to see. We see a lot of positioning. Look, look, the the corporate Democrats want to put this cursing uh, Gillibrand. She was, of course.
course, appointed to fill out um, Hillary Clinton's seat. Uh, they want to make her, of course, uh, uh, the, the the elected senator from New York. But these are these. This is what's wrong with the Democratic Party. These. But that's my seats. next issue: it is Democrats at the state and federal level are flip flopping to Republicans. They're they're leaving in mass. They know this health care tax, the scam, this bailout to insurance companies is unpopular with Democrats and Republicans, but they're so bought and paid for, they're so blackmailed, they're still going ahead with it. Yeah, and, and you, you, know, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, you don't see a lot of the party switching that you used to. I think people are just basically, the elected people in office are saying, to heck with both these parties. It, it, it does no good to be, go from Democrat to Republican or Republican to Democrat, because both parties are absolutely corrupt right now.